beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created man in his image, and God said, Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. And a time came when God sent his word, his son, to earth. And the angels announced his coming to shepherds on a glory bright hill. This is the story about the lambs who heard the angels and spread the glad tidings to God's little people. weren't they? I've never seen one before, but that's what the shepherd said. The music was really beautiful. The angels were beautiful. They were even more beautiful than people. It's what they said that matters. I still can't believe it. If the angels sang it, it must be true. God's son is coming to earth to be with us. I wonder how long he's going to stay. I hope it's a long time. You know, people aren't as happy as we little creatures are. I think we should help the shepherds tell this good news. What are you talking about? Huh? Huh? What's going on? What's happening? We grasshoppers heard all the music and buying and bleaching, enough to scare a creature from antenna to wing. Next thing we knew, those men who always follow you lambs around took off and left. There's something funny going on around here, and we grasshoppers have a right to know what it is. We should tell as many creatures as we can, little lambs. Right. I'm so excited, I'm almost ready to jump out of my fleece. I don't know who to tell first. See what I mean, grasshoppers? Lambs are just like people. They ignore us. Don't ignore us, butterflies. Listen, grasshopper, honey. When you want creatures to notice you, first you have to get their attention. Shake your antenna, then you flutter your wings. Listen, y'all. Tell me what it is you lambs talk about. We'll be glad to tell you. Our God who made us all has sent his son, a brand new little baby named Jesus. You're right. Butterflies are just like people, too. Everyone ignores us. No one tells us anything. Are we all going to see this new baby? Us ladybugs, too? Let's all go. We fireflies can light the way. Oh, I do I do so wish to go, but there are always so many things to do around our home. 
It isn't that I'm not terribly interested in going. It's just that, oh dear, do you think it's all right for us ladybugs to leave? I mean, I wouldn't want to come back and find my horse on fire. Stop worrying, ladybug. God takes care of sparrows and ladybugs. You know, this is probably the most exciting thing I'll ever do. I've never really done anything much. A little lighting up here and there. But maybe if there were a lot of us fireflies, we could add our light together to the star. Personally, I've led a rather exciting life. I've traveled from Palestine to Persia to Africa. In Africa, we more talented fireflies were chosen to light the way for the men who traveled in the jungles at night. How could you do that? One little firefly doesn't give that much light. We were all in the group together. Then we could be a help now. My mama always said that when everyone cooperates, a lot can be accomplished. All of us together could light the way to Bethlehem. I still can't believe it. Will you stop saying that? What about it, little creatures? Will you go? Great to be one of God's little creatures. Yes, and do you remember that day in Nazareth when Mary picked the wildflowers and we were there? Oh, yes, I remember. Butterflies, 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 all over. We had no idea then that Mary would be the mother of Jesus.
going to love you butterflies, all right. I figured out the way that I can help. How? Well, I'll do it with my own magnificent light. You mean all by yourself? Why not? Just you watch. so many creatures who could waste so much time. With all this dancing and lighting up, we'll never get there, grasshoppers. Right. There's nothing like a good jump to get a creature where he's going. You probably wouldn't agree with that, would you, Ladybug? It doesn't matter, grasshoppers. We'll all be getting together. The important thing is that Jesus has come. Yes. The little baby lies in a manger, just waiting for us to visit him.
Let's get busy. We've got to tell everybody this great good news. Jesus is born. But how do we possibly get this news to everybody? How about the birds? They could help. They can fly everywhere. I'll go tell them. We need all the help we can get. Yes, hurry. 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 Somehow I knew this day was coming soon. I guess it was a premonition. I've been feeling that way too, Bluebird. The winter hasn't seemed as cold, and I saw a violet peeking through the snow yesterday. I believe I heard the angels sing, Redbird. I thought it was our friends the nightingales, but I couldn't make out the language. Hey, man, I guess not. You don't really think a little runt like you, Sparrow could understand angel words. Ah, Senor Blackbird, that is unfair. I have an idea God loves his sparrows very much. See, si, Senor Cockatoo, you speak the truth. I don't really know why you think you're so great, Senor Blackbird. Hey, man, who are you talking about? You couldn't be talking about me, could you? If the feather fits, wear it. Hey, you guys. Our creator would weep to hear us talking so unkindly. You birds sound like some humans, I've heard. I wonder why God sent his son to earth. Our grandparents have sung the story to us from Isaiah. We know what is going to happen. It fills me with sadness. Doesn't it make you want to cry, Swan? No, it isn't a sad story. It's a happy story. God is sending him to earth for a reason. Those of us who love him and trust him will live with him forever. Did you know that, Mr. Hummingbird? Hmm, that's not easy to understand, but I think I do. I flew in from the Nile when I heard the news. There's a legend in my flamingo family that one of my forefathers saw the baby Moses in the bulrushes. I wouldn't want to miss this, because this new baby will be far greater than Moses. My forefathers have guarded the palaces of kings, but I would rather see this baby than any king in all the world. My fellow creatures, as an owl who has studied the flora and the fauna of our deserts and forests, as one 
who has studied the birds of the air and the creatures who creep as well as those who crawl as one who is deemed as wise as King Solomon, I have reached a conclusion. We're wasting far too much time discussing our future actions. We should all begin now to follow the star. Come, creatures, let us proceed <clears throat> with haste. Yes, let's get going! Come, all you little creatures, and be not Bethlehem surpassed the beauty of the rainbow as the colorful creatures soared and glided, jumped and fluttered over the hills along the way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them and came to west where the little child lay. We don't want to disturb them. Thank you, God, for letting us share this special and holy night.
this child divine, God's own Son to us is given, a wondrous gift, His name is little Jesus. Sleep in heavenly And that's the story I wanted you to know, how God can use everything and everybody. And he still does. Even now, he can use every single one of us. No one is too big and no one is too small. God's love is for all of his creatures. All creatures of 